Hello, hello everyone, and welcome again to another LEGO Barnacle video. For today, guys, we are going to be doing a let's build and review on the Fire Tribe Leader and a Gori Ranu. This is set number 8973, was released in 2009 and contains 14 pieces. Ranu became the leader after the Shattering. Now, if you guys don't know what the Shattering is, it was this massive event, big disaster where Energized Perdermis was leaking out of Spherous Magna and kind of caused a three-way split, forming Barra Magna, Aqua Magna, and Bota Magna. And it was just a weird kind of transition how, you know, after that, they kind of voted for him because he was like meant to be the, I don't know, they, they must have seen some good qualities in him. And I guess he does, just because of the fact that he exiled Mullum after he fought Strak in the arena. Now, I don't know exactly why, but <clears throat> I think it must have been something to do against regulations when they did fight each other. But uh, not only that, it came to a point where in the movie, if you guys have seen The Legend Reborn, uh, Toa Mata Nui and the likes of Akar and uh, Tarek... Uh, Tarex, Tarex, uh, Vestas, and Kina all are in one, uh, literally one scene, and the car is just trying to, you know, kind of state that we all need to unite, etc., etc., showing his fire powers. But before he even showed his fire powers, it came to a point where Ranu was like, "Oh, have trust in us." Have you, if you have heard his voice, he has like this literally most posh English voice I've ever heard before, and he was practically saying that trust in your leaders, blah blah blah, and. Uh, I actually found it quite funny and it just came to a point where you know a car just swinged off his sword and flames came out everywhere and that's how the Agori kind of believed in him and in a way that's how the Vestas and Tarek's fight kind of just stopped so it was interesting and not only that because Toa Matanui also unlocked Tarek's power by giving him upgrade weapons if you guys do recall that but yeah Ranu's an interesting type he has an English voice which is uh, I know, I find that quite funny. But anyway, I think that's pretty much all I can really mention about him. Let's get straight into the Let's Build. So, as mentioned, you know, 14 pieces, what could go so wrong? Uh, if you saw my Let's Build yesterday, it was on uh, Tardock. A few things went wrong, or actually just one major thing went wrong. I couldn't put on the claws properly, and that was a bit of a problem. And wow, this one doesn't come with any instructions. Okay, let's see if we can do this by referencing off the the picture. I'm going to do the best I can and uh, let's see how we're going to do this. Let's just enhance the image. There we go. Okay, so let's get the body piece first. So here is the body. Whoopsies. So here's the body piece. I'm just going to zoom in there for you all. Okay, now we're going to add on the feet first. Actually, let's add on the arms first. Let's make things a bit more simpler for us. Add on the arms. I'm just referencing off the box. Now, 14 pieces, right, guys? What could go so wrong? Attach on the legs. Now, how do we do this? Um, so, I think they're meant to kind of protrude outwards like this, I believe. Oh, no, wait. Oh, see, look. I was going to add them here. Look at that. Anyway, there we go. There's one. And here is two. Just like that. Add on his his feet, so then he can stand up. Push that in. There we go. Place him up straight, so then we can get a good picture of him. So I just want to quickly show you his Kanohi. That looks really cool. I really like that. This can definitely be used as a nice, you know, a nice mask for a mock. Um, especially for a fire elemental, um, you know, Toa maybe or something like that, some mock. But I think that looks pretty cool. It's like a fiery looking helmet there. It definitely looks nice. I really like that. Now, to one of my viewers who told me about creating a Toa version of these Agori, I can definitely go ahead and do that. I think it was Knights of Minecraft 2016. Big shout out to you. Thank you for the idea. I will definitely try and go ahead and see if I can build one. I'm actually in the process of building something else. Uh, it's a secret for you all, but it's, uh, it's a Titan size uh, mock. So I can't wait to show you that in uh, the near future. So just currently right now, just adding in the hands. Those are pretty simple, right guys? That should be pretty straightforward. Then all we gotta do is just to give him his shield. Now his hand is meant to be twisted like this. And the shield, I think one of them comes out like that and the other one comes in like this. 
There we go. So that's his shield there. And then we need to add on his barnacle head, or the Glatorian head. There we go. Give him his Kanohi. As mentioned, it's quite sad how these guys don't really have necessarily names and elemental powers because they haven't really been unlocked yet. It's only until Toa Mata Nui comes in and kind of gives them their powers. That is kind of stink. Anyway, here is his Fire Blade. This is a nice weapon. Kind of reminds me of Akama's weapon. You know how he kind of has that, uh, you know, that little, uh, I don't know what you call it. It's kind of like a fire hose. <laughs> it looks kind of weird, but yeah, you get the idea. Um, the graphics on this, it's quite flimsy. I'll tell you that, but it's all right. Let's add that on. There you go, he's completed. That wasn't too hard, right guys? We did it, we did it. Okay guys, so getting straight into the review, yeah, I know you guys like that pose there, it was like, yeah, let's get into battle form. Anyway, so in terms of articulation, I don't think there's any difference to Tardox, you know, like feet articulation, and then, you know, leg articulation, that's pretty standard, of course, a bit of movement, up and down, good movement there, left and right, so, standard articulation there and this is just a standard torso body piece and then of course you have the arm articulation now with these sets because they're all you know just one piece you only really get articulation in the shoulders and in the hip region and of course just in the arms and feet sorry in the hands and feet so um, articulation there as well so good rate uh, range of motion which is good the only problem that you can't really articulate well is just the head because it's so close to the body and because the uh, mask itself is just really, uh, you know, it's just quite wide, so you can't, you can, like, get, don't get me wrong, guys, but if you want some nice poses, you want to face the head this way, it's going to be quite hard. You're going to have to lift it up, maybe, and he's going to have to look like that. You know, he can't really look down. So that's a bit of a problem. So you can't get some, you know, some evil, maybe not evil poses, but some, like, serious poses, if you get what I mean. Um, you know, who, who, like, who wants to pose a set like that? Do you get what I mean? So that's the idea. Other than that's pretty cool. And of course you have the likes of the weapon. So here is its first weapon. It's called the Fire Blades. And um, <clears throat> self-explanatory. It's just literally a blade with a bit of fire going on. And um, you know, it's just the standard weapon there. Of course these Agori weren't necessarily made for fighting. They just, well they had weapons to protect themselves. But they really relied on the Galatorians to fight for them. Um, you know, worst comes to worst they would fight. But uh, yeah, they're not really much of fighters to be honest. But I think Metis would be. Metis was definitely a fighter since he was ruthless. And then of course you have the shield here. Now, um, I don't know exactly if this is known as a fire shield. But uh, it's just a shield to be honest. It doesn't look like it has any fire on it. And uh, it's a nice weapon too, don't get me wrong. But it's just a standard shield really. I don't know if they can really protect him. Because, you know, imagine blades going through here or something like that. Um, yeah, other than that, it's, that's pretty much it. It's a pretty small weapon. It would be nice if they could have had some sort of attachments here to these little, uh, um, <clears throat> pin axle holes here, or, yeah. I don't know, really, but, yeah, that, I, that's all I can really mention about this set. <laughs> it's a, kind of a disappointment with the Agori that, you know, they, they weren't really able to transform into Toa. Kind of like how with the Matoran. It would have been nice just to see what it would be like. I know they had the likes of the Galatorians, but, uh... I don't know, it just would be cool if you could, you know, kind of experiment and see um, what they would look like in their Galatorian forms. But I can definitely understand why Knights of Minecraft 2016 mentioned about, you know, trying to challenge me and uh, asking me to create the, I guess in a way, the Toa or Galatorian forms of the Agori. So with the likes of Ranu here, you have Tardog, Barrix and the others as well, Metis. So I will definitely give it a try, see what I can do. The unfortunate thing is though, I'm very limited with certain colors, just because uh, I just really am. But I'll do the best I can. Um, challenge is a challenge. I'll definitely take it on. And uh, hopefully in the next couple videos, I'll see what I can do and build something great for you all. Anyway guys, if you have enjoyed this Let's Build and Review, smash that, oh sorry buddy, smash that thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet guys. So then you guys are all up to date with any new videos I do post out. As always guys, thank you, thank you again so much for watching. I'll be talking to you all very, very soon. Bye bye.